Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray Perry and today on Boo Ray Explains we are going to talk about TTL Flash, what it is and how it works. Before we get started, don't forget to join my Facebook group. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry. I've also got a great Instagram feed, lots of funny stuff there. Just go check me out on Instagram. And be sure and check out my gear page. It's listed down in the description. And if you click on a piece of gear and you end up buying something, I make a couple of, a couple of dollars and it helps me to keep this channel going. All right. Today's kind of cool because we're going to talk about something that's kind of near and dear to my heart, and that's TTL flash. I am a professional photographer here in Tampa, Florida. I do a lot of flash work. With professional photographers, there tends to be like two schools. There's the people who want to work with natural light all the time, and then there's the people who want to work with flash all the time. And then there's the studio people, people who work with studios. They typically work with a lot of flashes all the time. So I do a little bit of everything. My, my driving force is always use natural light first if you can, because it will be the simplest uh, and often give you the best light. But if you can't, go to your flash and know how to use your flash. And it's never been easier to use a flash than it is today because of TTL technology when it comes to flash. Uh, it's getting so prevalent now that people don't necessarily even call it TTL anymore. It's just becoming the standard. You know, of course it's TTL. I, you, there aren't many flashes you can buy that aren't TTL. There are some, but there aren't many. I won't, I won't buy a flash that's not TTL. I just can't understand the reason why you would want a flash that isn't TTL. So why is that? What is TTL? Well, very simple. Uh, TTL means through the lens. And what it means is that the light that your camera meters, it doesn't meter that light until it comes through the lens of the camera. Now you may say, well, of course, but that wasn't necessarily all, always the case. There were times when light meters on cameras didn't actually meter the light that was coming through the lens. It metered from someplace outside the camera. And of course, in the days before built-in light meters in your cameras, the light meters were handheld. And so you would go and you would meter the light at the subject. And that's a big difference. You go and you put a light meter at the subject and you go, what's the light on my subject? Right? That's a pure reading on the light that is hitting that subject. Whereas the light that is coming through your lens, the TTL light, that's reflective. That's light that's reflecting off of your subject and coming into your camera. So it's a different quality of light. It's a different uh, level of light. Uh, and I also, I did a, a, a video about that here on my channel on Blu-ray Explains, what is reflective light versus incident light. That explains exactly what those two lights are. So I encourage you to go check that out. I'll put a link right up here. So TTL, Great. It, it measures the light as it's actually coming in the camera, which is pretty cool when you think about it, because now you're, here's what the camera is seeing, and I need to know how bright that light is. Great. But where it really comes into play is with flash photography, because with TTL flash photography, back in the day, you had to set your flash up according to what were called guide numbers. So on the back of a flash, there'd be a wheel and there'd be these guide numbers. And basically, you would look at this guide and it would say, okay, if you're at F8 and you are 20 feet away from your subject, then you need to turn your flash to this power. Now, in the film days, you had to do all of this and then just take the picture and hope it was right. <laughs> it was, there was no way to know. This is why I, the respect that I have for photographers who worked back in the days of film and manual flash and shot weddings Listen, you can look at those old wedding pictures and go, well, that's kind of a direct flash. It's kind of bright or whatever. You don't know. They, they were shooting blind. They had no idea. All they had was a math table in front of them to try and figure out exactly how bright that flash had to be. They had to use the guide numbers, figure it out, and now we're good to go. Now we don't have to do that anymore because the camera will set the flash for us. And the reason it can set the flash for us is because of TTL. It can read the light coming through the lens and figure out exactly how much flash power you need. Now, here's the cool part. I am constantly amazed by this. Here's how your flash works. When you go to take a picture, you pull the trigger, your flash sends out a small flash, not a full flash, like 1 16th power, probably less than that, like 1 128th of a power, right? Just a little tiny pulse. That flash goes out, it hits your subject, it bounces back. It comes back to your camera, it goes through the lens, and the camera's meter reads it. So now the camera knows. Here is what the light level is on this subject when the flash is fired at 1 128th power. It has a base now. It knows. 
And from that, it can extrapolate, okay, so at 128th, I am three stops underexposed. The meter tells me I'm three stops underexposed and I fire the flash at 1 128th of power. So if I take my flash and I double it and then I double it again and then I double it again, that will be three stops, which means three stops more light coming out of the flash, which will make my underexposed image by three stops be properly exposed. So you add three levels of light, you pick up your exposure three levels, and now you have a proper exposure. And so it figures that out and then it actually fires the flash at that new setting. It opens up the shutter. It captures the image. And Bob's your uncle. It does all of this every time you push the trigger. Think about that. Because you got to remember, the flash travels at the speed of light. So it can do this. It can fire that flash off and do and, and computations, speed of light. So it... You pull the trigger, and then just in that split second when you pull the trigger, it fires out the pulse, reads the pulse, figures out what it needs to do, fires the pulse again, and opens up the shutter and takes the picture. That's amazing, <laughs> right? It is by far my favorite thing about photography is that, is that it, it performs this amazing high-speed flash, like the flash, right? It <laughs> It does it all every time you pull the trigger. So if you're like, pop, 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 taking pictures, it's doing it every single time. It's getting a new pop. It's getting a new reading. It's setting the flash to a new power, and it's taking a picture every single time you pull the trigger. It's amazing, right? That is TTL flash, through the lens flash. Flash that is measuring the light that comes through the actual lens and giving you the correct exposure. And it is this technology that has enabled photography to expand into a world where you can put me anywhere on the planet with a camera and a flash and I can take a good picture. And I can do it quickly and right away without having to figure anything out because the camera is going to do so much to work for me. TCL flash. It's kind of cool, right? <laughs> it's really, really cool. All right. If you're a new photographer, or even if you're not, I really encourage you to watch this series, Blu-ray Explains, because I'm just going step by step and picking out the terms in photography, starting with the very simplest things and moving to the more advanced things and talking about them and explaining them. And if you're new, you're going to learn a lot from this series. And if you're not new, you'd be surprised at the things that you'll pick up because maybe you forgot them. You know, or maybe you just never really learned them that way. So please go and check out this series. I'll put a link right up here uh, to this entire series and you can go watch the ones that you want to watch and throw me a like and throw me a subscribe and hit the notification button so that when I put up new videos, you'll know about it. And as always, thanks for watching.